Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Tam Pham from thebotacademy.com and today I'm gonna teach you the 10 different ways for people to subscribe to your Facebook Messenger chatbot. All right, so if you're watching this video, you probably already have a chatbot and you wanna get subscribers. To build a chatbot, go to manychat.com or any other chat building platform out there like Chatfuel, Octane, Motion.ai, and so on and so on. But for this purpose, I'm gonna show you ManyChat and what their features are because I believe they're one of the best bot builder platforms out there. And so if you go to ManyChat and you go down to Growth Tools, you're gonna to see 10 different ways to collect message subscribers. They're separated into three categories, the overlay widgets, embeddable widgets, and other growth tools. And in this video, we're gonna go over each one and describe what each one is, um, why they're important, and how you can implement them immediately after watching this video. Let's get started with number one, the bar. Okay, so the first growth tool is the bar. And the bar is really cool because when visitors come to your website, they'll automatically see this bar at the very top of your website whenever wherever they go. So if they're scrolling or if they go to different pages, they'll always see this bar at the very top. And you can obviously say whatever you want. You can say, um, you know, download my free guide or um, send me this, uh, I'll send you this blog post, I'll send you this free coaching call or whatever it is. You would um, type in the text here and then you can either choose um, either send to messenger so the button would be look like this or I prefer um, with the checkbox because you can customize this field, send me the guide so it's very clear on what they're actually getting. And it also show um, your first and last name and the checkbox saying send to messenger. And obviously you can change the colors, um, the headline, button, text, and all of this stuff right here is going to be theme for the rest of the growth tool. So I'm going to explain it once here and breeze on through the rest. So this describes when does it display. So if you want this to display immediately when users go into your website, do you want the bar to display um, after they scroll, maybe 50%, 30%? Do you want them, do you want the bar to display uh, when they're about to exit the page? Um, for this purpose, I'm gonna show immediately because when I actually go to my website, I want you to see it and, um, and, and experience it for yourself. You can also uh, customize how often you show the widget to the same user after every what. So you can show if someone sees it and um, they close it out, um, you can customize and see, okay, I wanna show it to them again after 10 hours, three days, or whatever it is. So um, you can manually close by user here or show widget to the same user after um, how many days or how many hours you want. For these purposes or for this video's purpose, I'm gonna make it always because when I do see my website, um, I want to show you that it actually works. Next is the submitted state. This is where after they click on the button, send me the free guide, what are they gonna see? So here you're gonna see, you are gonna be rich. You can put whatever you want in here. Obviously this is like totally fake and I'm trying to be um, funny, but this is all for demonstration purposes and um, don't get offended if this is your niche. All right, you are gonna be rich, view it in Messenger. You can also redirect them to a URL. So if you have some kind of URL like your website.com slash thank you.com slash upsell or whatever it is, you can also redirect them to here after they click send me the guide. For this purpose, I'm just gonna show it like this because I prefer them to be in mess or to go to Messenger and actually go through my sequence. Next, you can customize the colors. I changed it to blue here. You can obviously change it to green. Um, black or whatever you want. Um, let's change the pink for now. We'll hit next here. This is the opt-in action. So you can, after someone opts in or after someone clicks the button, send me the guide, you can opt them to a sequence. So I'm gonna put them into my onboarding sequence if I had some kind of onboarding sequence for making a lot of money really, really fast. And you can send them a message saying, hey, what's up? I'm about to make you filthy rich. Click below to get my free guide. Actually, this should be automatically here. So what you can do is, for example, you can add a file here add the PDF to here and say something like, below is my free guide, go get rich. That would be more appropriate than this. So I'm gonna delete this button and then this obviously a file here. I don't think I have a file that, um, oh, here it is, the get rich quick guide, perfect. So there it is, the get rich quick guide, boom, I'm gonna save it. And so every time someone clicks this button, Every time someone clicks send me the guide, I'll click it, you're gonna be rich. View the messenger, and in my messenger, you'll see the Get Filthy Rich Guide. And after you create this opt-in message, 
Next, we're gonna set it up. And I already described how to set it up in a previous video, but just to be super brief, you're gonna install the JavaScript snippet onto your website. First, you gotta authorize your website, meaning telling ManyChat like, hey, my website is cool, legit, it's trustworthy. Feel free to put buttons and bars on my website. After you authorize it, you are going to um, click on the B, and you're gonna copy this code and place it on the head of every website. I described this in a, a separate video already, so I'm not gonna go over it, but after you copy this code to the clipboard and paste it to the head of every website, everything should be fine. So once you do that, then you can um, customize it here and say hide on these pages. So if you want this bar to be on every page except you know some membership site that you have, then you can exclude it or you can only show it on these pages. So for this purpose, I don't want this guide on my, my actual website. So I said, hey, only show it on these pages. And that's exactly what I did. That is how you put it onto your website. Growth tool number two is called the sliding. And like the title, it slides into your website from either side of the left or the right. You can customize. I'm not gonna go over all this stuff too much because I already did it in the last growth tool. Um, the cool thing about this is you can change the button size. So I'm gonna make it large so they can um, easily click it. You can add an image here this time. So you can change also where the image goes. So for example, if I want it above the headline, image, headline, description, I can change where it slides into. So for example, you can change the left top, left middle, left um, bottom, wherever you want it. I'm just gonna say this for now. Next is the submitted state. Thank you for coming to my site and getting my guide. Go get filthy rich. Um, you can also add an image here to this as well. Uh, but for this purpose, I'm just gonna move on. Next, obviously the opt-in message, you can subscribe to a sequence. And then obviously the setup where you can um, install this on. So here is how the pop-up will look like if you were to activate it onto your own website. So um, you'd be scrolling down, whatever it is, and boom, this, this pop-up comes up saying, get my guide to get filthy rich. I'm gonna click this, boom, thank you for coming to get my guide. And well, now we're gonna move on to growth tool number three. All right, growth tool number three is the modal pop-up. And obviously is what it sounds. This box right here will just pop up as the user is scrolling. And so you can, um, just like the last one, you can um, add an image, you can change the button size, change the colors, obviously, um, and all of the above. This is cool because when they're actually scrolling and reading your content, they are forced to either X, X out this pop-up or click the button to send to Messenger. And obviously you can change it to with checkbox as well. When you're actually on the site, you, you can scroll and scroll and scroll and this will not go away unless you either click out of it, click X, or click the button to send to Messenger. Growth tool number four is the page takeover. And if you thought a modal pop-up wasn't strong enough, well, guess again, because the page takeover is going to happen. So here it is, how it looks like. It's just literally a pop-up that takes over the page. And you can't even scroll to keep interacting with the website or anything. You have to interact with this takeover. It's um, highly intrusive, but it could be totally worth it if it's a very important message to go to your website. So for say, for example, you are selling a course and the cart closes you know, in 24 hours. This is when you would use the page takeover to say, hey, our cart's closing. You better hop on. You've been visiting my website for so many times. You better hop on right now and buy my stuff. So say, for example, here I want to ask them if you want to get filthy, uh, filthy rich in 67 easy steps. Um, description, make me rich. Boom. And how it looks like, it's literally just a page takeover. This is my page. I loaded my page and immediately this popped up. So I couldn't even read the blog content because this was here. I have to click this button in order to get out of it. So I'll click it right now. You'll be rich by tomorrow. Read the guide, view it in Messenger. All right, growth tool number five is the button. And I especially like the button and the box, which is the sixth growth tool because of how simple it is. It's literally just a button right here that you can embed on any part of your website. And so to customize it, you can go to initial state and change the size, change the colors, change the type. You can also change the position. So if you want this to be in the bottom or to the side, I personally like the bottom because it's easy to read, you know, call to action, send the messenger, boom, there you go. So imagine you're on a website and you're reading through the copy, you're scrolling, you're scrolling, you're scrolling, and you get really intrigued by the copy. And then automatically, boom, click the button below so I can send you my free guide on how to become filthy rich. And then I can easily click the button, boom, there you are, success. This arrow will lead to Messenger, and that is where they'll see the next part of your message. So growth tool number six is called the box, and it's the exact same concept as the button. Instead of being the button, a small, tiny rectangle that they'll click, 
they'll have a tiny box that will read out a little bit more description on what your guide actually is. So a headline, description, call to action, and you can change all of these things as usual. Also add an image if you want to. For this purpose, I'm just gonna leave it as is. You can change the width. So if I wanna make it wider or um, narrower, um, I can easily adjust it right here. And after that, uh, obviously the, the, the submitted state and the opt-in actions are the same. Um, as all the other ones and here is how it looked like on your website. So say I'm scrolling scrolling I don't actually click this, but I'm still scrolling 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 boom I want to teach you everything I know click the box below to get my free guide on how to become filthy rich now There's a box right here boom. So it's seamless as you're um, Scrolling through a blog you can automatically see this inside the actual post and you can read it very quickly and move on this also could be great for a sponsor that you have or an advertiser that they want to um, get more leads to or an affiliate that you're trying to promote. Um, so many options and opportunities here when using these growth tools. Growth tool number seven is the landing page. And what's cool about this is that if you don't have lead pages, if you don't have Unbounce or any other software to collect emails or um, message subscribers, don't worry because ManyChat actually has a landing page solution for you. So all you got to do is make the landing page so the headline, photo, description as normal. The only thing different about this is that the setup is you get an actual landing page URL. So if you copy and paste this anywhere to, um, you know, your friends and family who are interested in, you know, getting filthy rich or whatever your, your product or service you're selling, then you can easily share this link and it'll look something like this. Boom. All it is photo headline description, and then a call to action. That's all there is to it. And it's so simple and it, it works so well. And once you click this, obviously it's going to be green or you can redirect them to another URL and they can view it in messenger. Imagine your company just got featured on Forbes magazine or your, or yourself just got featured on a major podcast. Congratulations. Now, how much traffic from Forbes or from that podcast is going towards your messenger bot? How do you track that? Here you can with growth tool number eight, messenger ref URL. And what it is, is a simple URL that you can add to anywhere, your description, your website description, your email signature, your Forbes interview, or whatever it is. So you can track literally every single um, subscriber that comes from that uh, source. And so what it is, is once they click it, they're automatically subscribed or they automatically get their lead magnet to their messenger inbox right away. And after that, then you can um, subscribe them onto a sequence um, after, uh, after they click the link. So all they do is boom, copy and paste this, share it or embed it on or hyperlink it to wherever uh, source that you want to track, like a podcast interview, like a Forbes feature, even on your homepage or even on your email signature. Then you can send them an opt-in message saying, hey, um, thanks for coming from Forbes or I'm glad you enjoyed my interview on this show. Um, here's a special PDF that I can send you to get rich quick. Boom, PDF, and there you are. What I'm really excited about ManyChat and Messenger chatbots are the option to use Facebook ads to collect Facebook Messenger subscribers. And so instead of clicking on a Facebook ad, going to a landing page, reading the copy, and then submitting your email or you know buying the product or whatever it is, you can automatically send them the information or the content through Messenger all with one button. When they uh, scroll through your website or scroll through Facebook, they see your ad, and instead of clicking outside to an external link, they just click send message. And boom, once they click send message, you're going to send them this opt-in message. Welcome. Thank you for being interested in our product or whatever you're selling or whatever it is. Are you um, interested in getting rich by tomorrow? Um, yeah, I made this really quickly. And then they can click hell yeah. And that can lead them to, um, all right, great. We'll contact you as soon as we have a deal for you or, or something like that. And you can be really creative with this as well. And it's, it's really cool because you can now have them into your subscriber base and send them messages um, about your product or it's a lead gen to whatever service or um, product you're, um, you're, you're providing. So obviously you can do all this stuff as well. How to set it up is here is your JSON code and in order to use this, um, I can describe it to you, but I think a better teacher for this is Dan from ManyChat who describes how to use JSON in Facebook ads using ManyChat. So I'll leave this link right here in the descriptions so that you can learn how to do it. But honestly, if you go to manychat.com, you'll see this code. You can see this link right here if you ever get lost and boom, you can click on the video and learn how to add Facebook. Up. All right, the 10th and final growth tool are Facebook comments. And what's really cool about this is anyone who comments on your post, you can automatically receive a message from your Facebook page 
automatically without you ever having to touch a button. To set it up, for example, you will click, uh, um, you would choose a post on your page. So for example, this is my page, my sample page, and I will say comment on this post if you are cool. And every time someone comments, they get my message. You are awesome. I love you. But imagine like if someone comments like, hey, um, I, I want to be notified on when your next song is or when you're um, in my area. Then you can uh, write down like, hey, I'll be in you know San Francisco um, on this day or whatever. Uh, before I go to an example, I want to show you um, a little bit more about this. When you leave a comment, send a message right after. Immediately, seconds, minutes. So I like to do immediately just because when someone comments, I want them to be boom instant you can only trigger for certain keywords so for example if you want someone to say like hey i want to get rich so the keyword would be rich and anytime someone types in rich the mini chat will send them a message automatically whenever someone types that in or if you don't want someone to type something so for example if someone types in like i'm just going to use politics republican or whatever it is and you're a democratic <laughs> a facebook page then every, every time someone trumps uh trumps every time someone types this in then many chat will not send them a message so you can customize this however you want and then you can also do a cool welcome message as well and what's someone who's doing it really well is derek halpern he's a um you know blogger um teacher about psychology and he asked what converts better you know these three choices take a guess in the comments and i'll send you a facebook message and look at this almost 700 likes on this one post what's even more impressive is over thir like 1200 almost 1300 comments on this thing and every time you see you can see the page um responds privately um page responds privately page responds privately to all these different comments which is kind of insane on a simple post can drive so much more engagement and all these thousand people are now facebook subscriber to his bot and so now he can sell to the, you know, he can sell to those people uh, on, on his new course, on his new product, um, whatever it is. And so imagine the, all the other things that you can do. Imagine if you can say like, well, who did it better? You know, Beyonce or, you know, Kesha, or, you know, I'm just making stuff up now, but there's so many different applications for this specific growth tool. And imagine if you do this for almost every single post, um, here it is now, like, um, leave a comment on this post and I'll send you a Facebook message here. This one didn't do too well. Um, 16 comments total, page responded privately. But still, um, that's 16 more subscribers than a normal organic reach that doesn't really get anywhere. So I would encourage you to play around with this growth tool in particular. All right, there you have it. I just described to you the 10 different ways for people to subscribe to your Facebook Messenger chatbot. Now go ahead and leave in the description or leave in the comments what chatbot or what growth tool are you gonna use for your chatbot? Is it gonna be the Facebook comments feature? Is it going to be the page takeover? Is it gonna be the Facebook ads? Is it gonna be the button? What tool are you gonna experiment with today right after you watch this video? Leave it in the comments below and of course, like and subscribe this video to show us that hey, we're doing a good job on creating great content and you know, for you guys to, to see more of our stuff and to learn more about chatbots so you can grow your business or you can help clients grow their business. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time.